who is the president of Hudson Valley Community College, uh, which as we all know is the second largest institution of higher education in the capital region. Hudson Valley Community College offers more than 75 degrees and certificate program through its four schools to approximately 13,000 students each semester. So Drew, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you, Robert. Okay, I'm gonna make the adjustment too. Okay. <laughs> well, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you all for being here. Uh, you know, the theme for today, uh, as a number of you have already heard, uh, access, completion, and success. And as Martha just identified, there's a third, or there's a fourth, excuse me, and that is collective impact. What we are asking our legislators to do is to support SUNY and the, and the collective impact of SUNY on the entire state of New York, our students, but also our economy. A couple of things I want to share, and then I'd like to kind of put a face to what we're trying to do today. Um, our community colleges in this state serve about half of the students in the State University of New York system. Our 36 community colleges, including our six CUNY community colleges. That's 240,000 students. Over the last number of years, as, you, as many of you might know, when community colleges were established, it was established on a funding model of one-third state, one-third local, one-third student. Uh, at, at present, Hudson Valley's, and this is not uh, dissimilar from the other community colleges, the state portion of our budgets uh, for Hudson Valley is 22%. And as many of our students know, they have had to pick up a greater portion of their educational cost. About 48% of, uh, of our budget go, comes from our students. So it's important for us to be able to continue to deliver the message to our legislators the importance of investing in SUNY. Now I'd like to put a little face on, on our students. Our students are high school graduates, as you already have heard. They are returning adults. They are students that are coming out of our schools uh, with, with uh, needs for remediation, and our community colleges do a great job in providing that education to those students. We are providing opportunities for job seekers, and we are supporting our employers who are looking for great employees. Uh, we're also serving a tremendous number of our veterans uh, returning back to, uh, to New York State, as well as our students with disabilities. And so if you take a look at the profile of our students, you will see that it is a very diverse student body. So we're not just saying invest in SUNY, we're saying invest in our students. And so to complete my message, I'm gonna ask uh, Hannah Infantado to come up here very quickly with me. Hannah is speaking for all of our students and she also has a message to our legislators. I encourage the legislators to invest in SUNY. So, invest, invest in, in SUNY. SUNY. Thank you, Anna. Thanks to both of you. Uh, we really appreciate the, that strong message. And I think the message that Drew, uh, that, it, that Drew really brought to the table has reminded us of the importance of the community college system in this state, folks because it didn't take me long to realize when I arrived here that each and every year when we have 13,000 chairs on that podium and we watched uh, our 2,700 or so students graduate, 47% 47, 47 of those students started out at one of your community college. So we are inextricably linked in the quest to provide education for students in a very, very unique way, and that's what's unique and special about the SUNY system. And I think we forget that sometimes, so thanks for reminding us of that. Our final guest today is D Dustin Swanger, president of Fulton uh, Montgomery uh, Community College.